How we doing, everybody? Uh, it's been a minute. So, I uh, guess I'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to do a toolbox tour, just updated. Because uh, it's been a minute since I've posted, done a tour, or uh, a haul, or anything like that. So, we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Up here, got... Uh, turn on my light oh well it doesn't do much all right so we got the uh half inch chrome five piece extension snap on uh, i went ahead and moved my craftsman flex head half inch and my pittsburgh stubby half inch flex head up there i uh, got the four piece or three piece extension with the swivel half inch impact from snap on a uh, quarter inch six piece extension set I uh, got a crescent three inch drive breaker bar got my locking flex head snap on uh, non locking flex head snap on green hard handle uh, yeah the quarter inch drive icon hard freight uh, flex head got the quarter inch and three inch drive standard uh, hard handle in the power blue uh, I got this set which I just got today it's the 8 piece 3 8 drive uh, extension set and then we got the half inch drive flex head uh, I don't know how long it is but it's, oh, oh, it's 18 inch um, then we got the snap on quarter inch Um, we got a 18 inch snap on half inch drive breaker bar, and then a 25 inch Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight breaker bar. Uh, this drawer has some PPE, uh, tape measure, paperwork, bandages, that type of thing in there. Um, and here we got two Braun uh, slim neck lights from Harbor Freight. Uh, I got my snap on charger in the back, got my M12 charger, my M12 M18 charger, Milwaukee. We got uh, the Milwaukee M12 lantern. Uh, forget what's called. Just a treble light with USB charging. Um, I like it so you can have it flat, or you can turn it and have it full 360. Um, so then we got uh, the spare impact, the old snap-on. Got the snap-on air. Both half-inch drive. Got the Milwaukee half-inch drive impact. That is the lad, the old generation. I think the second generation of the high torque. And then we got the M12 3.8 stubby. Love that thing. Use it just about every day um, then we got the M12 speaker radio plus charger is what they call it got the cord plugged in on top of the box uh, running down it's just laying there right now uh, then we got the M12 ratchet and then we have the torch 300 snap on I like it that's new since the last tour uh, in here got my extra gloves because I started wearing those got some 6011 rod for our, our stick welder um, got uh, this extra cord don't know what it's for got some pins got my extra speed drawer stuff and a Milwaukee bag and down here got blue molded stuff some funnels another Milwaukee bag uh, my magnet parts trays usually go down here I got one up in a different drawer right now uh, I think since th these three are kind of my f favorite I think I'll save those for like we'll go through these other ones down here that don't have a lot this one I got some just metal pans for parts uh, 
just a random part for one of my trucks got uh standard half inch drive shallow impacts from sk i'm um, wanting to get rid of those just because i don't use them i like my snap-ons um three-quarter drive air impact a noco boost pro gb150 is the part number i love that little guy um then here move a couple things let's see in here so i got my m18 fan milwaukee a uh kit for glow plugs air hammer dial indicator cooler set and then some hydraulic hose plugs uh extra butane for my torch uh, and then we got a homemade uh air release valve go up one uh this is just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff we got some blow guns this one's new since uh oh man this one's new since the last tour uh it's only pink because my old Harbor Freight one took crap on me and I just needed one so got one from the snap-on guys the only color they had uh, in here got all my hammers or most of my hammers got this one don't even know what it is so I don't know why I have it uh, got drilling hammer uh, handles a little shot there got uh, chipping hammer for welding uh, claw hammer which doesn't really get used here um, got my custom made short ball peen uh, I think it what is this 8 ounce um, got my 8 ounce blue point ball peen hard uh, wood handle and I got 16 ounce fiberglass handle blue point ball peen got a 16 ounce right Sorry. Yeah, 16 ounce. Wouldn't want to focus on the camera. Uh, hardwood. Not hardwood. Uh, hickory handle. Um, then a 20 ounce hickory handle. Uh, those three came in the set. Uh, got this one. Just a little uh, three pound, four pound sledge found in a truck. 10 pounder. Um, just short handle. Uh, got an extra head back here to say four pound head, two cheater pipes. Got the 40 ounce, uh, dead blow ball peen, and then a 40 ounce, a 48 ounce. This one's 40 though, I think. Yeah, 40 ounce, and then a 48 ounce, just regular dead blow. Um, and here, got my pliers, got some tin snips, uh, chainsaw tool, 6 inch uh, crescent, 2 tens, 12s, old school, 91. Uh, I got 18 inch, got my, uh, don't use them that often, I use the company's snap ring pliers because those things kind of suck. Got my welding pliers, got these hose clamp pliers. Um, go ahead and take these out so you can see them. Uh, just the Mac ones. Uh, and these are new since the last video. Uh, just Blue Point uh, host pliers. Uh, just my channel locks and my Nipex uh, host clamp plier. Two long Pittsburghs, the straight and the 90. You got my set of smaller one, uh, smaller snap-on pliers. Got the slip joint, the needle nose, diagonal cutters. Then we have the uh, strippers crimpers set. Uh, my old cutters. Got another set of cutters. These ones I think are new since posted last i think this set might be new too but i know for sure this one well i don't i think this one is this one has the one for nuts like i don't i don't even know what that's for 
So I don't use that one. Uh, I do use this guy though. Frequently. And then uh, the famous needle nose that can pick up the dime. Use those a lot too. Uh, it's got my old Pittsburgh ones just in here as backups. This one, I don't know what happened to it. Clamp, my small needle nose, vice grips, two Milwaukee seven inches, seven inch vice grips, two 10 inch vice grips, and then from vice grip, and then uh, a blue point branded vice grip. Here, just a bunch of random miscellaneous stuff knife, some seals, another knife, more random crap. I uh, got a bunch of random crap here, and then I got all my punches and chisels, and these back two cubbies here. And in this drawer, I got my old pry bars, um, just some random pry bars, this thing, uh, old races that I ground down as race drivers. Big, uh, I use it as a punch sometimes, works just fine for big stuff. Um, small, uh, what are they? 10 inch and 14 inch uh, pipe wrenches, and then my set of hard handle, the two, four, six, seven piece, and the dark titanium. Which to me it's more of a gray. But it seems like these are a lot lighter on the hard handle. But uh, they got moved down from this drawer because I bought this set today as well. The nine piece Torx drivers. So I wanted to put those there. Um, just because I mainly use my 12 piece set that I have over here over the hard handles so I moved the hard handles down put these up here got my heavy duty pick set my ratcheting screwdriver mini screwdriver a pocket screwdriver my mini screwdriver set mini pick set uh, got this old screwdriver just laying around I got a random hose pick a uh, panel tool use that for brakes adjusting brakes on uh, our trucks and trailers um, then I got this random old older instinct handle snap on flathead uh, got the 90 and straight die grinders got my new pry bars which I'm pretty sure are new since the last tour I have the four piece snap on set I uh, got the six piece dead blow uh, 56 ounce, I think. I don't remember. I think they're 56 ounce is the big one. Uh, and this one's a 16 ounce. The two small ones are 16 ounces. Yeah. Uh, the big one is a 56 ounce ball pin side, along with a 56 ounce on the double and then also got a 32 ounce and both as well I think yes so that's the reason so since those go from 32 to 56 that's why I have the 40 uh, the 40 and the 48 that was very loud apologize for that that's why I have the 40 and the 48 just to Go in between those gaps there. Uh, then here, got my big wrenches, which don't get used often because I don't really do stuff that big as often. Uh, I got my Icon ratcheting set, the reversible ratcheting. Got my standard snap-ons. Now these are the non-flank drive. These are all industrials, and this one the Proto. Um. Then we got the snap-on uh, slack adjuster tools. Uh, I got a 30 millimeter SK, 
inch and a quarter proto, inch and eighth snap on, inch and sixteenth snap on, both non flank drive. Got some Matco stubbies and standard. Um, three quarter down to three eighths, I think. Yeah. Um, then I got my Mac line wrenches, standard. I got this set. It's uh, the biggest size, double boxed in. The biggest size being 19, small size being 8. They're nice. I haven't, I don't use them that often, but when they when I need them, they come in handy. I uh, got those pro. It was a promo. Buy these get these so I bought these in the foam got this one which I'm not a huge fan of the foam um, I like my Hanson style but the foam came with it so then I got my 7 to 19 flank drive metric and foam uh, and then we got my gear wrench uh, what size are these uh, 8 up to 24 uh, skips 23. That's the only size it skips. So, say for those of you who are just starting out or something, if you want to get a set of ratcheting, the gear wrench is great, and they don't skip. Like that's that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when a uh, size is skipped. So that's why I like going with the higher price stuff that doesn't have any skip sizes. You know, because I'd rather spend 200 bucks on a set of wrenches than. 50 bucks and skip well maybe not 50 but you get the point i'd rather spend 200 bucks than 20 bucks and have the three main sizes i use skipped you know so that's uh it's a good set for starting out uh, the icon is as well uh i got these ones which are new since uh the last tour half inch drive allen's uh, i got my torque set Got this set, which is new. It's got quarter inch drive shallow sockets, uh, an extension. Then it's got the all the bits and then an adapter to a quarter inch. So you can put a quarter inch socket on. But it's a gear wrench. It's got the long ratcheting, uh, long bit ratchet and a short one. Only used it a couple times, but I love it. Um, still working on chrome half inch uh, in both standard and metric uh, but I don't use metric as much I still have this random Mac uh, O2 sensor socket 7 8 half inch drive that never gets used uh, half inch drive standard impacts um, my shallows are complete from 3 8 down there all the way up to inch and a quarter and then I've got half inch to inch and in deeps, and I want to get the inch to sixteenths, inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter, and then also seven sixteenths and three eighths. Even though you don't use them a lot, I like to have the rails full, you know. Um, then I got the Icon three eighths drive chromes, um, and they go from a quarter inch, yeah, a quarter inch up to seven eighths um, and that's in deep and shallow and then they also come with what is that uh, it's 11 30 seconds I think so that's why those just sit down there because they don't have a spot on the rail and I don't use anything like that in 3 8 drive so um, then I got my 3 8 drive standard impacts um they go from five sixteenths up to an inch and in deep and shallow so i'd like to get a uh, quarter inch even though i'm not going to use it i'd like to have it because having the rails full is nice this one uh the quarter inch chromes still working on them um i don't use quarter inches often so and if I do, that's usually metric because it's all interior stuff. So, got my almost complete. I need a four and a four and a half. And then this set's complete. 
but it goes five uh, and goes all the way up to 15 and it doesn't skip uh, five and a half like some that's half size like some companies do and those are snap on as well um, and then I have the sorry uh, three it's metric as uh, impacts my bad I'm a little tired so they go from eight uh, to 19 I think and then that's where they skip and they go to 21 yeah they go night 8 to 19 then 21 and Twenty-four. Um, so the 20, 24 is just uh, sit. They just sit back here for now because there's no spot on the rail. And I got the twenty-one on here, and the twenty spot just because I didn't want any more sitting off the rail. Um, then we have the this axle nut socket just sitting in my box. Good to have. Uh, I got my three eighths chromes. I just have shallows right now. These ended up being the flank drive plus, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna trade these in for just regular flank drive deeps probably. So I have them, and then get the, and then get snap on ones of the shallow later. So, cause this one has two sitting back here, and this one should be down there, but I just got the craftsman stacked and these two stacked. And we got the. 10 to 19 snap on deep and shallow impacts half inch drive uh, and you saw this rail i think these are all craftsmen on the shallow up to the 22 then it's somewhere it's a uh, blue hawk on the 24 the Twenty-five, which I have in the twenty-five spot. Okay, I think this one is in my twenty-seven hole, but it's a twenty-six craftsman. But I didn't have a twenty-seven, so I went ahead through the twenty-six back there. Uh, my open pair of gloves or box of gloves. My other tray, some safety glasses for some reason. Another part for a truck. Um, got my half-inch drive Pittsburgh Torx half inch drive craftsman impact rated torques inch and three sixteenths deep wall half inch drive chrome i think it's crescent brand um matco right so matco's right yes matco three inch drive uh hex sockets my swivel for three inch drive three to half inch impact adapter then two chromes uh three three it's to quarter spark plug socket i got three chrome swivels a impact one and then my drain plug socket half inch drive at uh, two half inch drive to half inch square i got my three inch drive to five sixteenths square for doing brake adjustments uh, half inch three eighths adapter, half inch three eighths adapter, three quarter half inch adapter, half inch three quarter adapter, inch and seven sixteenths, uh, inch and a half, uh, shallows, both snap on. Um, this is snap on, this is snap on, snap on, snap on, Cornwell, Carlisle, snap on. And then we have my Craftsman metric on this side, and then uh, standard on this end, and those are my impact rated hex sockets. Then we got the e torques half inch drive swivel, half inch three eighths, it's proto. And we got my old half inch extensions, this one, real long one, or quick type torque, torque wrench, and then a bunch of random extensions. So, that's the box as it sits. Um, but uh, I I don't want to get rid of... So, 
use these ones as frequently. But I don't want to get rid of them because these were my first set of Snap-on. So, I mean, they kind of mean something to me. That's what really got me into Snap-on was those. Uh, I mean, I had gotten on the truck before and stuff, but never bought anything. To make a little grab-and-go, a couple little three-drawer with a little flip-top lid, carry boxes. I'm thinking about the Yukon one from Harbor Freight, uh, which is like... 60 bucks and then there's the craftsman from lowe's which is 65 dollars they're both good boxes i think i would like to see if you guys have any opinions on them down in the comments below um so and then i'll throw those in there and some other pliers and i want to want to have those like plier sockets wrenches all that i want to have those decked out to where they'd be like hey you go down and down to this job down the street and go work on a trailer i don't have to man i think i'm gonna need this for this job i think i'm gonna need this because i'm not fully to the point where i i'm like oh that uh alternator on that truck over there that's a 9 16 i mean i'm not i'm not there yet so i want to be able to and just grab and go so if you guys have any because and i'm looking for the metal three drawer with a little flip top. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions on a brand I should get for that box, um, I would like it to be from Lowe's, Har Home Depot, or Harbor Freight, um, just because those are easily accessible for me, or Ace Hardware even. Um, it could even be from Menards if you find one, if you've had uh, experience one from there. If there's any hardware store that's us that's usually around people. Uh, that's, that's where I'd like to get one from. Um, and then ways to organize those because they're not the biggest and I want to have two max because I know I'm not going to be able to fit all my sockets, wrenches, and pliers and screwdrivers in one. So I'm going to need at least two. So if you guys have ways to organize those, uh, if you have any experience with good organizers or bad organizers, uh, just let me know in the comment below, comments below, um, and that's that's about it for today so i'm wyatt a uh, snappy tool addict as you can see um you guys have a great great 2024 have a good one